cosmos has always held secrets that spark our curiosity, ignite our imaginations, and remind us how small we are in the grand tapestry of existence. Picture this. A star so massive, so ancient, that its very presence commands the attention of astronomers and dreamers alike. This is Betelgeuse, a colossal red supergiant nestled in the constellation of Orion, a celestial giant that's been glowing in our night sky for millennia. But something extraordinary is happening with this star, something that could rewrite what we believe about the universe. Its recent behavior, observed through the lens of cutting-edge telescopes, has sent ripples of excitement and unease through the scientific community. Could Betelgeuse be on the verge of a cataclysmic transformation? Could it explode in a supernova, lighting up our skies in a way humanity has never witnessed in recorded history? Let's embark on a journey to unravel this cosmic mystery, a tale of a star that's both a beacon of wonder and a ticking time bomb in the heavens. Imagine standing under a clear night sky, your eyes drawn to a reddish star that seems to pulse with a life of its own. That's Betelgeuse, one of the most iconic stars visible to the naked eye. It's not just its color that makes it stand out. It's its sheer scale. This star is 764 times larger than our sun. To put that in perspective, if Betelgeuse sat at the center of our solar system, its fiery surface would swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, and even stretch beyond the orbit of Mars. It's a behemoth, a stellar titan that's been burning for 8 to 8.5 million years. By human standards, that sounds ancient, but in the life of a star like this, it's a fleeting existence. Stars of this magnitude live fast and die young, and Betelgeuse is in its final act, a red supergiant phase where it's cooling and expanding, its core undergoing dramatic changes as it burns through the last of its nuclear fuel. What makes Betelgeuse so captivating isn't just its size or age. It's the way it behaves. This star doesn't shine with the steady glow of our sun. Instead, it's a semi-regular variable star, meaning its brightness ebbs and flows in cycles that last about 400 days, with longer shifts over five years. These fluctuations have been tracked for centuries, noted by ancient astronomers who marveled at its changing light. But every so often, Betelgeuse does something unexpected, defying the predictable patterns that define most stars. In late 2019, it grabbed the world's attention with an event that left even seasoned astronomers stunned. The Great Dimming. The star's brightness plummeted so dramatically that even backyard stargazers in light-polluted cities could notice the change. At its dimmest, in February 2020, Betelgeuse was losing light at a rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day, an unprecedented shift that sparked a flurry of questions. Was this a sign of something monumental? Could this be the prelude to a supernova? the explosive finale of a star's life? To understand what's happening, we need to grapple with a fundamental truth about observing the cosmos. We're always looking into the past. Betelgeuse is 725 light years away, meaning the light we see today began its journey toward Earth centuries ago. When we gaze at this star, we're not seeing it as it is now, but as it was 725 years ago, around the time the Magna Carta was signed. This light travel time effect is a cornerstone of astronomy, a reminder that the universe unfolds on a timescale far beyond our own. Any changes we observe, like the great dimming, actually happened long ago. If Betelgeuse were to explode today, we wouldn't know until the year 2750. This time lag adds a layer of mystery to the star's story, making it both a puzzle and a paradox. Are we watching a star on the brink of destruction, or one that's already gone supernova? its light still en route to us. The great dimming wasn't just a spectacle, it was a clue. Astronomers armed with tools like the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope dove into the data to understand what caused this dramatic fade. A team led by Andrea Dupree at the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and the Smithsonian found something astonishing. Betelgeuse was shedding material at an incredible rate, losing mass 200,000 times faster than the sun's solar wind. This wasn't just a gentle shedding, it was a massive ejection of superheated plasma, likely from a giant convection cell on the star's surface. As this material moved outward, it cooled and formed a vast dust cloud, partially blocking Betelgeuse's light and causing the dimming. The scale of this event was staggering, about 400 billion times the mass of a typical solar coronal mass ejection. 
It was as if the star was coughing up a piece of itself, a cosmic convulsion that hinted at deeper, more profound changes within. This discovery fueled speculation. Could the dimming be a sign that Betelgeuse is nearing its end? Red supergiants like this one are in their twilight years, their cores collapsing under the weight of their own gravity as they exhaust their fuel. When a star like Betelgeuse runs out of material to fuse, it can no longer fight gravity's pull. The result is a core collapse supernova, an explosion so powerful it releases more energy in a moment than our sun will emit in its entire 10 billion year lifetime. If Betelgeuse goes supernova, it will briefly outshine the moon, visible even in broad daylight, a cosmic firework display that could last for weeks or months. For astronomers, this would be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to study a supernova up close, relatively speaking, at 725 light-years away. It's practically in our cosmic backyard. For the rest of us, it would be a breathtaking reminder of the universe's raw power and beauty. But when will this happen? That's the question that keeps scientists up at night. Some estimate the supernova could occur within decades, while others believe it might take up to 100,000 years. The truth is, we don't know. Betelgeuse is unpredictable. It's irregular behavior defying the neat models we use to predict stellar evolution. Its reddish hue, a sign of its cooler 3,500 Kelvin surface compared to the sun's 5,500 Kelvin, tells us it's in its final phase, but the timeline remains elusive. Historical records add another layer of intrigue. 2,000 years ago, Roman and Chinese astronomers described Betelgeuse as yellow, not red. By the 9th century, Arabic scholars noted its reddish tint. This shift in color over millennia suggests the star has been evolving before our eyes. Its surface cooling as it expands, a slow-motion transformation that's both beautiful and ominous. Theories about the great dimming abound. Some suggest it's a natural part of Betelgeuse's cycle, a massive ejection of material that forms dust clouds, temporarily dimming its light. Others wonder if changes in the star's photosphere, its visible surface, are causing fluctuations in brightness. A more dramatic hypothesis posits that the dimming is a precursor to the supernova itself, a sign that the star's core is on the verge of collapse. Each theory offers a piece of the puzzle, but none provide a definitive answer. What we do know is that Betelgeuse is losing mass at an extraordinary rate, a process that's both a spectacle and a warning. As it sheds material, it's shedding clues about its fate, and astronomers are racing to decode them. If Betelgeuse does go supernova, what would it